If you've been looking for cheap and reliable coins over EAFC24, then please look no further than FIFAcoin.com. As usual, they've got great discounts on their website and you can get an extra 5% when you use my code MARTIN. Link will be in the description. Hi guys, Martin88 here. Welcome back to another EFC24 video, another end game tactics video here on the channel. And today we're having a look at the 4-2-1-3, which was one of the new formations at the start of the year. And it's one of those formations that you can almost make it what you like. But we're towards the end of the game cycle now, so we want to make it exciting and we want to make it enjoyable to you. So let's have a look at it and see what you guys think. So Defensive style, press after possession, loss, okay? I prefer to be able to put pressure on myself uh, via my right stick switch in my second man press. You can still do that. But I think a lot of you actually do struggle with that. And this is, uh, the way this is set up is to be really attacking. So we need to complement that with lots of pressure, okay? So I've put it on press after possession loss, but if you're still capable of doing it yourself as well, then that'll be even better. Defensive whip, 35. Uh, depth 55, pretty sand stuff. Build up play, balance. I always like that. I still, I like to attack fast. You can still attack fast, even though it's unbalanced. You know, I just feel like you're a little bit pigeonholed if you use fast build up play. Uh, direct passing, um, offensive whip 50. No need to change that. Players in the box seven, corners two, and free kicks two. But it's the instructions that make it. It really, really is. And before we get into those instructions, guys, I did just want to remind you, I am still offering online coaching. Uh, that is what I do. I'm an uh, FC24 coach. So if you're still looking to improve at the game or improve your fundamentals, uh, ready for the start of FC25, then please feel free to get in touch. Email address is on screen. Okay, so centre back, stay back while attacking. Full backs, balanced attack, right? And let's go straight to the wingers to tell you why. Because we've got the forwards on cut inside, right? So you see where Solskjaer is? Solskjaer like that. You'll have Son and Sterling really close to them, all right? So like a front three when you're attacking. Now, of course, that's going to leave a lot of space and width up the wings, which will be taken up by Zambrotta and Ashley Cole because they are on balanced attack. Now, of course, that is going to leave you slightly open at the back, but so be it. Like I said, guys, you know, we're near, nearly in August. Go and enjoy the games. Go and attack people. And that's definitely what this will do. The two centre mids, CDMs, the way you want to look at it, just got them on balance attack and cover centre. And then in at Cam, I've got Saka on stay forward, get into the box for crosses. We want that person to be on stay forward so that when you are defending, which will be um, as two banks of four, you've got somebody just in touch with that midfield as the out ball, or you can select them to come and help with the midfield as well. Saka has decent defending stats, so he can lend a hand if you need that. Maybe it'd be nice to have someone with five-star skill moves there, but um, it definitely would do a job there, absolutely. Then, obviously, onto the wings. We've already had a look at that. They are on comeback on defence. Yeah, so when we don't have the ball, we obviously want to be defensively secure. They're on getting to the box of crosses as well. So when you've got Cole and Zambrotta on the wings, you're going to have Son, Solskjaer, Sterling and Saka all in around the box with uh, Bruno Fernandes and Modric backing up, ready to recycle the play and hopefully mop up the bits. When you're playing a formation or you know, tactics like this that could and would leave you open, you've really got to choose a bit more carefully with the balls that you play. Don't try a ball that's only 20% in your favour. You know, be a little bit more selective about what you're going to do, a bit smarter, you know, because people say, oh, I'll get caught in the counter attacks because they're just giving the ball away stupidly. Yes, you will lose the ball in the final third and get countered, but I'm just saying, just be a little bit smarter about it. Then with the striker up front, just leave them as a default. Leave them in the middle of the box to score the goal. So, guys, there we have it. Those are my 4 2 one, three custom tactics and player instructions. If that's helped you out in any way, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.